Hey Virgos, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your reading for this week of May 2nd or May 3rd. Sorry, today's May 4th. I've got all the days mixed up. Uh, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. Thank you guys for being here. If you're already subscribed, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and comment. New uh, subscribers will receive a comment back from me. All right, so this is gonna be kind of like a yes or no format. We're starting off with this Arcanum Tarot. What is going on with Virgos for this week? Messages for Virgos. We're gonna start off with this Tarot. I don't usually take reversals unless I'm really being called to. For some reason, I'm feeling like the Six of Cups is gonna come out for you guys. It came out for Aquarius, I don't know why, but I could be wrong. We've got Judgment, Page of Swords, and Ten of Swords. Wow. Okay. A significant um, revelation in a relationship, I feel. Um, it could be almost like something that you've been just trying to make work, and it's not working, is the feeling I'm getting. And you're, you're actually just ready to um throw the towel in you could be dealing with a gemini libra or aquarius this person could be kind of immature you could have also heard something or they could have heard something that just sort of like changed the game in this dynamic and i haven't been pulling that many tarot for these readings but i'm going to take these got five of pentacles four of pentacles and two of pentacles i feel like you've been really like i said you've been really holding on to this dynamic almost like identifying yourself with this dynamic trying to make it work but in a way you've left yourself behind by holding on to this this five of pentacles specifically this abandonment energy i see as you guys and it's almost like are you going to choose yourself or are you going to choose this relationship at this point is the feeling i'm getting so the, I'm getting a yes, but that's regarding you ending this. A dynamic is the feeling I'm getting. This is from Ask the Oracle, from Rising Sun Oracle. We have focus, direction, advice. Your intuition is guiding you. Trust it. Clarity, communicate your wants and needs. I feel like either you haven't done that or you've already done that and this person isn't listening and nothing is changing and that's going to be the thing that catapults you into a different direction here so i definitely feel you guys are making a big decision right now this week when it comes to relationship now just because you're making the decision doesn't necessarily mean you're going to take the action but i feel like you're going to decide and then things are going to start energetically moving from there maybe even the universe is going to help you now if this person ends up leaving you it's just because the universe is assisting you with the decision you already made okay this is for from connections for the modern world from mystic moon what are some of the other energies coming through here for virgo no means no boundaries chalk it up yeah it's kind of like you almost chalk it up to this sense of self-love look at this experience it's like it was an experience it helped you grow it helped you build boundaries it helped you cultivate a sense of self-love and i feel like that chalk it up is kind of like well i'm going to take my losses or my gains or whatever here i'm not going to feel like i failed or feel like it didn't work out i'm just going to look at it like it was an experience Right, this is from Mystic Moon's Twin Flame Journey Messages Volume 1. Something is still missing for me and I'm trying to figure out what that is. That's what I'm saying, guys. You guys are just kind of like, you can go your own way. That's the energy I'm getting. Go your own way. You can call it a no. And it could be that that person feels the same way as you. I know I screwed things up and I honestly haven't. So it could be that like somewhere along the ways this person m messed things up and they just haven't figured out how to rectify it. And so it's just not been moving forward. It's been really stagnant. And it's almost like this person may even be sort of like making excuses or being lazy. And you guys have just had it. This is from Sacred Healing Journey from Angelic Revelation 144. Now, it could be that this person was almost like a karmic partner from the past. Like we have past life healing where it's like they were almost just in your life because you guys had karma. 
to work out. You had, look, we have past life healing and chakra healing. Although this situation could have felt destructive at times, I just need to grab my dog. Um, I feel it helped you guys both heal in a way, even through like the turbulence, even through the hard times. So I don't think it was just all for nothing. I do think this was an invaluable experience. Okay, all right, I'm gonna, I'm being called to use this Alice in Wonderland Oracle. So let's get some final energies. This card really wanted to come out. Find the lesson, discover the purpose in a situation. Trust that you are learning. Look at this, experience, learning, healing. Like that's what I'm saying, this is number 29. That could resonate with you guys. It, it really wasn't all for nothing, no matter how it ends, no matter where you go from here. This was a divine soul connection. And maybe you need to close the door for you to guys to find each other at another point. Maybe you need other experiences as well. Manage to be glad, create your own happiness regardless of conditions. I'm getting a lot of this energy of like looking at the silver lining, like things might not feel like they were worth it. But um, this is saying... Is it worth it? Let me work it. No, this is saying like, there was, there's a time for everything. There was a time for this experience. Maybe there's a time to close the door. All right, I'm gonna pull some from my Stay Inspired Oracle card. Literally my dog's trying to jump off my lap, which he never does. So I feel like that's kind of significant. You guys are really antsy and restless and maybe just wanting new experiences as well. Okay, so let's get some final cards here. From my stay inspired oracle where nothing wants to come out okay i'm gonna have to okay look at this independent you never needed anyone else to define you or make you worthy if you have to go at it alone you could do this you are your own best friend your own hero your own warrior so maybe you guys are ready to be independent and believe in healthier relationships. Healthy relationships are life's nectar where you feel seen, heard, respected, wait for them, demand them. Don't settle for anything less. Let them nourish you, they will bring you back to life. Believe, miracles defy our concept of reality, but they happen every day. Yeah, I feel like you guys are ready to set foot on a new adventure, to find new relationships, to find yourself, to cultivate new relationships, and to believe in better things than you've been having here. All right. All right, Virgo. So that is your reading. I hope it resonates with you guys. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time. Like I said, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and comment and I will comment back to uh, new subscribers. Uh, thanks for being here. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.